Hey, what's up, guys? It's Man Flavor. Got a little treat for uh, both of us today, you and I. Um, got a Grey Cliff 30 year, what is it? 30 year blend, 30 year anniversary, something like that. Um, anyways, this is like a $20 cigar right here. Uh, this is one of the most expensive cigars I've ever smoked. Um, pretty much just this one, the Armada, and the uh, a couple Cohibas. Are all pretty expensive, up around twenty bucks. So uh, I've never smoked a Great Cliff before. I've never, I've never even really learned anything about them. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. This has been sitting in my humidor for about a year, probably about a year now. And uh, thought, hey, let's bust it out and see what it smokes like. Hmm. It's a really nice smell coming off the wrapper. As you can see, I got a little bit of damage in there. Um, just a little hole. Hopefully it doesn't uh, hopefully it doesn't open up on me. Uh, it's a really good looking wrapper. Uh, looks like a pretty thin wrapper. You can actually see kind of some of the bumps from the uh, the binder and the filler kind of pushing through the uh, pushing through the wrapper. It's not it's pretty evident that it's not tooth. Um, you could just see, you know, you can see the tobacco. Uh, through the uh, through the filler, or I mean through the uh, through the wrapper. Uh, veins are pretty pretty small. Um, you got one kind of close to a medium sized vein here. I don't know if you can pick that up, but just barely. And um, everything, all the other all the other veins are really really small. Um, the seams are visible, but uh, they look pretty neat and tidy. Uh, cap is a tad bit sloppy. But I don't think it'll give us a problem. Just a little sloppy. Um, I think this is a Cameroon wrapper. And um, what I do know about the scar is this scar has got tobacco from freaking everywhere. It's got Nicaragua, one Ecuadorian. Um, what else? Dominican. It's, I can't remember, probably like two or three more uh, countries in there, but uh, it's got tobacco from everywhere. So, uh, let's see the aroma. It's a really light cedar flavor. Pretty sweet. Oh wow, that foot. That foot's got a lot of a lot of different uh, aroma in it. It's got the, uh, it's got sweetness. It's got a citrus. And it's still really light. It's kind of a light smell coming off it. But uh, that smells really, really good. Might be getting a light, a little bit of a leather in there. Not getting any nutty flavors. It's just really, it's really, really sweet right now. Still don't have a proper cutter. So I'm using the punch. I got my eyes on one. It's the uh, Calibri diesel. Just uh, waiting to see it on the sprint cell. I've seen it a couple times. I didn't get a chance to bid on it though. <sighs> mm. I even used the. Uh, I use the little punch for the Coronas, the little one, and uh, and it still it draws really really well. See that little tiny hole in there. Oh, 
on the pre-lit draw, I'm getting... Um, now I think I'm getting a little bit of nuttiness. I'm still getting a lot of sweetness. Uh, still getting that citrus. And that citrus is a really light uh, flavored citrus. Almost like a like a light lemon flavored almost. Or maybe a grapefruit. Definitely getting the natural tobacco flavor. I think this is going to be a good one. This is going to be pretty complex. I'm getting a, I'm getting a bunch of uh, an array of uh, flavors. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's pretty light. I don't think it's going to be too uh, heavy of a cigar. Um. But I think it's going to have a lot of different flavors. It's going to be really, really complex. Especially since, you know, you get tobacco from all over, pretty much all over the world in here. Wow. That has a lot of flavor. Definitely taste the aged tobacco. That's the first thing that hits me is the uh, that uh, that aged tobacco flavor. Especially get on the retro hail. This is a very easy to cigar retro hail. It's I wouldn't call it a, a light bodied cigar, it's definitely medium bodied. But uh it is almost almost a light bodied cigar. It's kinda like there's layers where there's a medium bodied layer and then uh there's a light bodied layer. And you mostly get the light bodied flavor or the light bodied layer. Um but there is just a little bit of beefiness in there that uh it kind of floats on top. Wow. Yeah. You just really get that, that aged tobacco flavor mostly. And then there's a lot of the citrus in there too. Still pretty sweet. Yeah, it's kind of hard to pick up anything else other than that, um, that aged tobacco and the citrus flavors. That aged tobacco is what just, it hits you right off the bat. That's that's pretty much 
60% of the taste of the flavor right there is the aged tobacco. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit of a nuttiness. A little bit of a nutty flavor. Still dominantly the... Uh, that aged tobacco. But uh, there's absolutely no bitterness. Uh, there's no bitterness coming off the, the, you know, right after the light. It's very, very smooth. Like I said, medium bodied at most. Still a little bit more body than, than maybe like a Nicaraguan Connecticut uh, shade grown wrapper. Uh, still more body than that, but, but definitely not full bodied. Now, even though this isn't really, you know, the kind of cigars that I gravitate to, um, I really like the full-bodied cigars, you know, the real savory, maybe creamy cigars. I like the Habano wrappers and the and the Habano wrappers for the spiciness and the Maduro wrappers for the that smooth creaminess. Um, I also like Cameroon wrappers, but I like Cameroon wrappers and Sumatra wrappers with a little bit more body and a little bit more flavor. But having said all that, I can definitely appreciate, um, I can definitely appreciate the blend in these tobaccos, these aged tobaccos. Uh, again, this is one of the most expensive cigars I've ever smoked. Yeah, so far it's kind of like one of those things where, like for example, Katy Perry. I don't really like her music, but she definitely has a hell of a voice. You know, you got to appreciate the voice, but even though it's not what I particularly like. Scar's got a hell of a voice. I would say I would say what this cigar reminds me of is the uh, Rocky Patel Royal Vintage. Um, it's way way better than the the Royal Vintage. But the way that it reminds me of the Royal Vintage is the Royal Vintage hits you with mostly that aged tobacco flavor, and that's that's a little bit of the flavor that I'm getting out of here. This is a much better aged tobacco flavor than the Rocky Patel, in my opinion. Excuse me, but. Uh, but you really get that age in there. Excuse me again. So the finish is kind of a light or medium finish. Basically, all you get is um, some citrus on the finish with all that aged tobacco. And the finish on the retro hill is almost non-existent. It, you know, it's the, you get the flavor there and then it goes away immediately. Yeah, it's kind of the same finish on the retro halos. You get just a little bit of uh, a spiciness, just a little bit of, of pepper uh, on the retro hail, and it's just it's gone in an instant. Mostly on the retro hail, you just get you just get that aged tobacco.
very, very good so far. Anyways, I'm going to get into this a little bit, and, uh, and I'll get back to you in a little. second segment uh, I've been smoking for about 20 minutes now a little bit more than 20 minutes and I really want to show you this ash before it falls off that is just about the most perfect ash you can ask for let's see if I can get it to focus a little better very very straight very stacked looks like a uh, it's like a stack of quarters just like it should it's a very very nice ash and I'm going to keep on smoking it with the ash uh, as long as I can. It's it's giving me some really good flavors right now. And uh, this this band is a uh, pretty pretty loose, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And I'm actually I'm actually thinking I'm going to collect this collect this one. I'm going to hang on to this one. Maybe start a little band collection. If I can get this band off without uh, without losing that ash. Okay, I'm just going to try and slide it. Nope. Um, anyways, the here we go. The flavors uh, did change quite a bit. That's pretty shiny. There you go. So I'm going to hang on to that one. But uh, <clears throat> flavors changed a little bit. Uh, the spice really picked up. Um, probably about just about an inch through it, right right when you serve the first third. Um, the, uh, the spice picked up a little bit. And you're kind of getting some white pepper. There it goes, right on cue. Burning really nicely. I got a very nice cone going. Okay, so uh, before I lost the ash during that little intermission, that little break we had, um, the spice was picking up a little bit, the flavors were picking up a little bit, um, body was picking up just a little bit, and uh, starting to see a pattern here. As soon as when you got a nice long ash like this, and uh, as soon as it falls off, the flavors definitely change. Uh, in my experience, and, uh, it's been uh, mellowing out when the ash, fall, ash falls off. So I'm still getting quite a bit of pepper, that white pepper. Um, still the most uh, dominant flavor is the... Uh, that aged tobacco flavor, which is really, really nice. Usually, I don't really like the aged tobacco flavors. It, you know, it tastes kind of, uh, kind of foul to me usually. But in this one, uh, either, either my taste have changed, or, or this is just a really good example of aged tobacco. Um, that aged flavor is really, really nice. Uh, the flavor is just a little bit flat, but with the added citrus and a little bit of a nutty flavor I'm getting in there, the scar is still fairly dynamic. 
And uh, I'm especially enjoying that, uh, that white pepper that picked up a little bit. Retro Hill is still pretty nice. Very nice. I gotta say, I like the Retro Hill a little bit better on the Olivia Serie V. Wow, you just get so much more flavor. This is a really, really nice cigar. I'll say it again, it's not really you know, my type of cigar. Um, if somebody gave me this cigar, I would definitely, you know, I'd definitely take a bump on it. I'd enjoy it. But, uh, for 20 bucks, I just, I, you know, I can't buy this cigar. It's not, uh, it's really, really good. And I, I really, really appreciate it. But 20 bucks, it's not my style. White pepper is really picking up. That citrus is definitely a, a grapefruit, uh, grapefruit type of citrus. Let's go ahead and cleanse the palate, see what happens, see what that does. As usual, <clears throat> oh, wrong pipe. I'm uh, drinking some Buffalo Trace Kentucky bourbon with it. I really like this bourbon. It's a uh, it's a little sweet, but uh, but it still pairs pretty nicely with uh, with the sweetness I'm still getting off of this off this cigar. If I could. Uh, you know, if I could go back and pick a different bourbon to match with this, I would, I'd find something a little bit drier um, to cleanse the palate and really, uh, really get that sweetness off the uh, off the cigar. Because I'm finding right now the bourbon, the sweetness from the bourbon is masking uh, the sweetness you get from the cigar just a little bit. Excuse me. I think this is probably this is right up there with um, now this is gonna sound a little strange <clears throat> but I'm thinking the amount of appreciation I have of the cigar is right up there for the Olivia Serie V um, the Olivia Serie V is only a, a seven or eight dollar cigar again this is a twenty dollar cigar huge difference there but uh, but the complexity and the flavors and the subtleties in the Olivia B kind of uh, remind me of of uh, not really the flavors in here, but the dynamics and the uh, and the subtleties of this cigar. It's a very very interesting uh, interesting balance of flavors. Like I said before, you've got citrus. Um, you've got the white pepper, you've got that um, really strong aged uh, tobacco flavor. If you like aged tobacco, you, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy this, uh, this cigar. Mm. If I haven't mentioned it already, Smoke output is phenomenal. Uh, draw is uh, is right on par. Wow. Wow. 
scar is getting better and better <clears throat> as it gets shorter and shorter. Uh, but I kind of stand by my my statement before. I just I wouldn't be interested in spending twenty dollars on this cigar. Definitely worth twenty dollars for for somebody who likes this sort of likes this sort of taste and this uh, this experience. But um, haven't made my millions yet, and uh, and I'll have to uh, stick to the uh, slightly more affordable uh, fuller bodied cigars that I, I tend to gravitate to. With that last draw, the white pepper is dying down just a little bit, both on the draw and the retro hill. And the uh, <clears throat> H tobacco flavor is picking up just a little bit, and that might be due to uh, we're getting a little bit longer in ash now. That's kind of uh, the characteristics I got when before the ash fell off. Um, as the ash was getting longer, I was getting more H tobacco flavor. And, uh, and less pepper. As soon as the uh, ash fell off, that white pepper just shot up and the aged tobacco flavor died down a little bit. Still getting a little bit of the citrus in there. It's really, really, it's a really nice combo. Alright guys, well I'm going to take a little break here, I'll smoke this thing down to about the last third and I'll uh, turn the video back on, give you an update. We're back here with the final segment. I've been smoking for about 40 minutes now, uh, just under 40 minutes. And my curiosity got better. Man, I had to go ahead and look this cigar up and see where these uh, these tobaccos came from. Now it's got a African Cameroon wrapper, a Jalapan binder, and a Nicaraguan, Dominican, Honduran, and Brazilian fillers. The uh, I'm sure that the fillers and the and the and the and the, uh, the binder are also aged, but the 30-year vintage comes from that Cameroon wrapper. So recently, I've noticed the draw is tightening up just a little bit. Um, I inspected for tobacco balls or tar balls. I don't see any tar balls in there. It's looking uh, pretty dark in there, but I'm still not. I'm not getting any tar balls whatsoever. Might be seeing some soon. <clears throat> but uh, I've let that ash grow out a little bit more, and uh, and as we as I experienced before, uh, the white pepper picks up a little bit. The H tobacco flavor dies down a little bit as you let that uh, that ash grow out. It's always got to be on camera. Every time, every time I hit my hand, and it was hot. So that's where we're at now, though. 
So there's some evidence of the draw. You know, if the draw was still pretty open and easy, uh, I'd have a bigger cone there since it's been tightened up a little bit. Uh, you don't really get as much cone. That's probably why the uh, the ash fell off a little bit earlier than it did last time. Let's see where did that go? Right underneath me. About two inches left here. The draw's starting to heat up just a little bit. Definitely still manageable. Um, definitely going to be uh, getting a few more minutes out of this cigar. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up here now, though. As far as recommendations go, um, I would definitely recommend this cigar to somebody who likes the aged tobacco flavors. Obviously, like I've said before, um, you get a lot of the aged tobacco flavors. And since this, uh, since the ash fell off a second time, you know the aged tobacco uh, flavors picking up. The white peppers dying down a little bit. Um, I, uh, as far as the price goes, again, it's a twenty dollars cigar. I actually didn't pay that much for it. I got it for the uh, uh, Cigar.com Cigar of the Month Club. It came in one of those packages, and they they give you some really really good cigars you definitely get your money's worth if you're you know a regular cigar smoker or even if you you know you just smoke cigars on uh, on a you know rare occasions if you just subscribe to that um, cigar of the month club they give you premium cigars and I think they give you what six a month or something like that you know that's just enough to fill up your humidor and keep you uh, keep you smoking um, Again, I did not pay anything for this. Um, it's worth the twenty dollars. I can't see myself uh, spending twenty dollars on the cigar. Um, however, with one exception of that, if there was an occasion that I was celebrating with you know other cigar smokers, other cigar enthusiasts, and I really wanted to bring something special to the table, I would definitely consider uh, this uh, Greycliff Thirty Year uh, Vintage. Again, I have an incredible amount of respect for this cigar, this blend. Um, I even did a little bit of a research on the blender. I can't remember the guy's name. It was Mariko something I can't pronounce. Uh, but uh, he's down in the Caribbean. He's uh, He opened up a uh, like one of the Caribbean's premier five-star restaurants. Uh, he's got like the second, uh, second best uh, wine wine cellar wine collection and uh, and then he ended up uh, you know wanting to blend uh, cigars premium cigars and that's just incredible you've got the restaurant business um, he's in the wine business and now he's also uh, you know creating cigars wow that's that's a talented guy if you ask me The bitterness is just about starting to pick up now, actually. Which usually happens when you get to the you know the bottom, the nub. But uh, anyways, if I were to uh, you know buy the cigar again on that special occasion, like I mentioned, I wouldn't even look for a deal. I don't even think they would they would put these on sale. Um, I would you know if I were to uh, to splurge a little bit and uh, and get a couple of these cigars for some friends, uh, I would definitely pay the twenty dollars a piece. They're they're minimally worth the twenty dollars. Uh, you got to think thirty years of uh, managing that tobacco is pricey, obviously. Um, so I would just pay the respect, pay the twenty dollars a piece. That's a bargain if you ask me. Um, I think this uh, this tastes like a thirty five dollar cigar. Wow. Even though that bitterness is coming up, you still get all those all those flavors. You get um, the aged tobacco. You get the uh, that citrus flavor. 
and uh, you still get a little bit of the white pepper along with some nuttiness. If there's one word I can I can use to des describe this cigar or this experience at least, it is appreciation. It's it's an incredible cigar. So again, if you like, if you really appreciate the aged cigars, um, if, you're, if you're really looking for a unique experience, definitely consider the Grey Cliff uh, 30 Year Vintage. It's a very very good cigar. I would not um, I would not uh, suggest this cigar to a, a new uh, cigar smoker. I would definitely advise you to uh, expand your horizon a little bit before you know before uh, spending the money on the cigar. Um, I've been smoking for I've been smoking cigars for seven years now, and really really kind of got into it a little bit more uh, the premium names and stuff in the last three years. Three or four years, maybe, and uh, and I'm probably just at the point where where I can really appreciate the cigar. Um, Any time before this, I might not have. I might not have appreciated the cigar. I might have just said, "Oh, you know, it's kind of got flavors I'm not really into," which, admittedly, like I said, I, I'm not really into the aged tobacco flavors. But but. Now with the experience that I have over the last you know three four years of really, um, really exploring premium cigars, I can I'm ready to appreciate uh, appreciate what's uh, what's been put into the cigar and the work and uh, and the time that's been invested in the cigar. This is a mind-blowing experience, by the way. Um, coming up here, I'm going to put my uh, my uh, my rating. Um, it's not the Scar Aficionado rating; it's just based on their uh, their rating system, and you know, it's just my own personal rating. And I definitely, I'm definitely going to be rating this pretty high. It's probably going to be the highest rating cigar uh, I've rated since I started using that system in my videos. Wow, it's a very interesting cigar. It's a very relaxing cigar. It's a very entertaining cigar. Um, having said that, I think I pretty much hit all the points, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end the video now. I'm gonna try and uh, smoke this thing till it starts burning my lips, or if that bitterness picks up to the point where it's unenjoyable. Um, definitely gonna get every bit, every ounce of enjoyment out of this stick. It's it's absolutely incredible. Thumbs up for the Great Cliff.